Hey guys, thanks for coming back. So, I'm gonna do this peachy kind of cut crease. And this is the stuff I used just like for my foundation and underneath my eyes. I used Naked Skin by Urban Decay and Shape Tape for underneath my eyes. And I used RCMA Clear Powder. So right now I'm using Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. And I'm just putting that all over my lid, like right in the crease, you know, and just swishing it back and forth with a larger brush. And that's getting like my contour shade in. I love this. You use it for like your eyes and your cheeks. So I feel like this contour palette is very versatile. And towards the outer corner, I'm just building it up. And then I'm going back and forth in the crease and just building up the color. And then right here with this little Sigma brush, I'm just blending out the edges. I'm using the short, um, the Tarte Shape Tape with this little flat brush by Sigma. And I'm just like drawing out where I want to put the cut crease. And I like this brush because it's really precise. And then I'm just like softly blending it out. Then I'm using Clementine from the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette. And I'm just packing that on slowly just like with the flat part of the brush and then I'm just going underneath my eye with a fluffy brush just putting that underneath I'm using NYX Vivid Bright eyeliner and I'm just like drawing this little like line right here to like make it the cut crease pop and I just like really like the brightness of the yellow and the peach together I just thought it was really nice for summer then I'm using the, um, the Anastasia palette by Nicole Guerrero and Daydream. And I like this because it's like an orangey shimmery shade. And I'm putting this underneath my brow bone. And then I'll, I do put a little bit underneath my eye. Then I'm using this e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil. And I'm just like filling in my brows. You know, I, I have a pretty thick brow. So I just like, I don't have to fill it in too much. The end of my brow was just like a little shorter so I just lengthened that a little bit and just like brush it out slowly okay so now I am using another NYX um, it's a matte eyeliner I love this I love the brush on it it stays it's I find it really I know just like works really well with my eyeliner because the brush is so thin so I'm just doing my eyeliner like a really crisp line maybe one day I'll just do a tutorial just on how I do my eyeliner and this is just black then I'm using total tees uh, in I believe this is Maybelline and just putting some mascara on underneath my bottom lashes and my regular lashes. Then I'm using this elf uh, brush. I love this brush because it's so flat and fluffy. And I'm using that, you know, just to give me my contour with the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Palette. And then I'm just, you know, contouring my nose. And I like to put a little bit on the tip just to shorten it a little bit, just and then on each side just to make it look a little thinner and you know, just more defined. Then I use my beauty blender and I just like blend that out. I know my beauty blender looks like it needs a new one. Then I highlight a little bit with the Nicole Guerrero palette. Putting some lashes on, these are Dells. Okay, House of Beauty. Um, oh my god, I love this. It's the first time I'm using it, and you really do not need a lot. This lipstick is so pretty and shiny. It's like my favorite. It's this color is called chiffon. And I use just like this little um lip pencil, like this lip brush from BH Cosmetics I ordered, and I liked it because it has a cap too. I just, I, there's a lot of lip pencils that don't have caps, and I'm like, eh. Then I'm using Clementine actually as my blush, too. And then right after, I'm going to use Ofra Cosmetics um, Blush in Peach. 
well but that's the final look it's like this pretty peachy cut crease look i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching if you'd like to see more videos like this please hit the subscribe button and like the video see you soon bye